Okay, so it's a new day. Um, I had to rob the MAF and the MAF housing off of the 24 valve because the 1AT225 engine takes a Mark IV VR612 valve, Mark IV 24 valve, or an Audi TT one, but I don't have it, 225, so I don't have it, so I'm just using that one. Went to the junkyards this morning and I couldn't find one, so I have that. I have my boost pipe with my boost sensor um, bung uh, um, attached, so I have that set up ready for that. Um, so yeah, today I'm hopefully gonna get it started. Um, hopefully get the C2 box in there, get everything plugged in, and then just um, put power to the fuel pump, put the new spark plugs in. I picked up, uh, yeah, I picked up, picked up the same ones that I put in the Mark II 18T. Um, this is for, you know, 18T tuned engines, so I'm gonna put those in and yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited actually. I, I hope it gets started today. That's my goal. Um, probably won't drive it today. I think it's, everything's gonna be kind of just thrown together. I might drive it, put it in the shade somewhere, <laughs> so I, then I can um, work on it a little bit more because I do obviously want to get a running. I want to get a driving video. Yeah. So I just put the math housing on. So I'm gonna button up the engine. So then all I have to worry about is getting the C2 box and everything plugged in and power to it. So I'm gonna do the spark plugs, get the boost pipe in with the boost sensor, and then make sure I have everything that I need to be hooked to power to power. I think that's it. There we go. Okay, so I have one of the old plugs. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a nice new one. It was just dumping so much fuel into this one. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check and see what gap he had on these things. Oh, no. So they're about 30, 32. And then the plugs I'm using, they got the 30, like 4, but we bring these down to like 28. There we go, that's 28 right there. So yeah, I'm gonna use 28 on mine. And these are the correct plugs for a tuned 1AT. He was using some auto lights, some crappy auto lights. So yeah, this thing's gonna, and obviously with the ECU and with the MAF and boost sensor, I can't wait to get this thing. Okay, sit rep here. Um, I've got all the wiring plugged in. I'm gonna put the pipe on, hook that up, and I think then, oh, I have to, with, so the ECU, the harness that goes up here needs to be grounded. So I'm gonna drill and ground some wires up here. Maybe I should try, it. maybe over here, I don't know where it'll reach to, but I'll uh, drill and put some um, bolts in somewhere up here. And then on the inside, I was in here for a little while, uh, racking, racking my brain a little bit. Um, so it's kind of backwards because the power is coming from the back for me and this is the first time I'm dealing with the battery in the back. So, um, you know, the wires that I'm still using are here. So I'm still gonna be using them on and off. So this is gonna be my main switch to let power go to the CU2 box. And I figured out that this is that wire that I'll bring, you know, up here somewhere and around, hook that to the power for the CU2 box. And then this is still gonna be the same thing. You know, that's gonna turn on, turn on the CU2 box, all the engine stuff. The fuel pump I think is gonna turn on. I'm not gonna use this though. I'm gonna use the ignition from the CU2 box. And I even think, I, I, I hope that all the drive systems still work because this is supplying, you know, it's got its own fu f uh, fuse or relay for the fuse box right here. I'm gonna keep this for now. I might keep it forever, I'm not sure yet, but yeah. So I think this too, it's, there's power coming to the all the drive system. So when I flip that, I think the all the drive system will engage also. I'm not 100% sure on these two wires that he had coming out. Um, I'm not sure what they went to, maybe up to the his 
system that he was using for power. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna cap them off because I don't think I need them. I, I just need this power wire um, coming up to the CU2 box. It's got a fuse here. It's got a few, a couple of fuses here. I think one is for the fuel pump, one is for the back lights, and then obviously the fuel relay. So I'm gonna call it germ, I think, just to make sure. Maybe I'll put, oh, there's a nice grounding thing too right there that I can use, because I gotta ground the C2 box somewhere over here. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, still need to plug everything in, but I just, I wanted to button up that engine base. So I'm gonna get back on that and then, uh, Hopefully get in here and start plugging things together so we can uh, try to get this thing started today. A lot more work than I thought. Everything, just little things that come up. Um, oh, and the gas pedal is going to take a while because I don't know how I'm going to rig that up. Because I'm obviously doing, um, you know, drive-by wire. He's got his cable set up, so this gas pedal is not going to work. But I have my, you know, wire gas pedal that we use for all these swaps. So I'm just going to have to... I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't really, I'm not gonna drive it today anyways, but this will be good to see, make sure, you know, it's, uh, the throttle is working and everything. Yeah, I guess we'll work on that when we come to it, but yeah, let's get back to it. Okay, so it has gotten so hot outside. <laughs> I had to park my car with the latch or the hatch back, giving myself some shade. I was getting burnt. I think I have everything done in the engine bay now boost sensor ground to the ecu i'm not going to put the ecu in until i hook everything up put power up and just you know make sure nothing sparks or something but i got ground all hook up everywhere so i'm just going to leave the ecu off for now i think i have everything done in the engine bay so this is wired just like we do the mark 2 vr6 mark uh, to 18t everything is wired the same except for the battery cables are going into the back now so Yep, should be good to go. Um, going to go inside and start hooking up everything, uh, splicing power to power to the C2 box and hopefully get this thing fired up. Well, this is about all I have time for today. I mean, I have I have power hooked up that will, from the battery when I put, put it in here, the power will go to here and this will still be the on switch for the power to get to the ec2 ec <laughs> ce2 box and the power to go to the fuel pump with their fuel pump relay for right now um i mean i i think i have everything i think i'm ready i'm gonna go get the battery and then we'll see if this starts up i really don't have any more time today and it's so hot i got some other stuff that i need to do so hopefully it starts if not we'll have to come back uh, maybe tomorrow and diagnose why it's uh I hope I, I'll be I'll be happy if it just turns over but yeah let's uh I'll get the battery and then we'll see okay so I'm gonna hook up I'm gonna hook up the battery hopefully I don't know, hopefully we don't get any sparks or anything okay I got the positive on <laughs> it goes to negative everything is off it's off battery cables are on but here we go nothing i did not hear anything <laughs> that's not good hmm. oh Oh, <laughs> so I did hear something turn on. It did let power go to the C2 box like I was hoping, but I didn't hear my throttle body turn on. That's not good. So that should let power to the C2 box. Like I said, this is in like the, you see the, the fuel pump's not on. I feel like the fuel pump should be on right now. So yeah, there, I need to check. Man, it's so hot in here. It's like 90 degrees outside. I don't know how, I don't know how hot it is in here. Whew, it's hot. 
So yeah, I need to figure out why I'm not hearing my throttle body. And it, it, it turned over though. That's awesome. Okay, so it's turning over. Need to figure out why the fuel pump is not coming on. I've got fuses to check that I haven't checked actually in this line right here. Under. Oh! I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was the pump for the all wheel drive system turning on and working. So. Yep, so that turns on the power. So that is the pump for the all drive system. That's awesome. But there is, we're not getting, we're not getting the fuel pump on and I can't hear my throttle body, which the throttle body I got with the car. It looked like it was used from some other car uh, but you know, this has happened before and it was just I undid all my connections and put them all back together Together and then it worked. So I'm gonna go check a couple of those and then hurry up and uh, try to get back in here and Hopefully this thing will start up today <laughs> So I just went back to my car to see if I had any fuses because I just dropped one and look what I found sitting there <laughs> Is the ECU <laughs> Oh, idiot. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and we'll try this again. So power on again. Nothing. So I still didn't hear the throttle body turn on. Uh, striking out. 